Hola, bienvenidos a Easy Peasy Spanish with Angie. Today we have a video that it is a little bit different and also very important. Today we are going to be talking about Spanish words that nobody will teach you, but I will. phrases that people would avoid saying unless they are really, really necessary. Some people feel very uncomfortable when talking about things that tend to be very personal. Talking about toilet needs or unpleasant smells or maybe about private parts of the body. However, you will need to use these phrases in your daily life. Toilet needs, very important. We all need to use the toilet. Todos usamos el baño. That's normal. Let's imagine that you are in a Spanish speaking country. You would say, ¿Dónde está el baño? ¿Dónde está el baño? If you are in a restaurant, for example, or you are talking to friends and you need to go because you need to go to the toilet, al baño, you could say, permiso, voy al baño. Or simply, voy al baño. Now, this, very important, as many call it, the white throne, El trono blanco, it's called inodoro, inodoro. I'll tell you a phrase that you might use in your house. El inodoro está sucio. O el inodoro está limpio. El inodoro está limpio o está sucio. Mm. When you go on holiday, you might eat something that can upset your stomach. If that happens, you will end up con diarrea. Diarrea. This is your time to practice your R, double R in Spanish. Diarrea. Or maybe you go to the doctor and you want to describe it, you want to say. You could say, Doctor, tengo diarrea. But you need to describe how is that diarrea. So you could say something like, La diarrea es blanda or suave, soft, or líquida. La diarrea es líquida, liquid. I know, a bit of a smelly topic, but it's important. You might also need to speak about the smell. El olor es muy desagradable. Or simply, el olor es desagradable. Desagradable or malo, which is more informal. El olor es malo, bad smell. Desagradable, unpleasant. If you are in the Dominican Republic, you might listen the word bajo, which means like stinks. So you could say, uh, if there is a smell, a bad smell, people would say, que bajo. Que bajo, stinks. The past in the Dominican Republic and is informal. Another phrase that could be 
useful is que asco. Ooh, que asco. Gross. Now, when you want to talk about feces, you would say pupu, pupu, which is the informal way and it's, it's a word that you could use for children as well and you could use it for adults but it's informal poo but if you want a proper word you would say eses fecales poo is poo eses fecales feces just watch the h i don't say Heses, because remember in Spanish the H is silent, so we say eses, eses fecales. Now, if you want to say we, you say pipi, that's the informal word, and you could also use the same word for the children or for adults, pipi. Or you could say the formal way, you could say urine. No. Sorry, that's English. Orina. Orina. Okay? Y el verbo, the verb, orinar. Orinar. Now, let's say a few phrases that will be very useful when you use these words. At home, when you are in an environment where, you know, people are very close to you or... A child might come to you and tell you something like um, Necesito hacer pupu Because the child will go and tell you what they need to do And what the child is saying in that moment is I need to have a poo Necesito hacer pupu Or quiero hacer pupu Or Necesito hacer pipi But usually child will tell you Me estoy haciendo pipí. Me estoy haciendo pipí. That's when you are desperate and you need to go and have a wee. Usually a child will say, Me estoy haciendo pipí. But you might use these words with someone very close to you. For example, your husband or wife. Let's say they want to stop you because they want to tell you something. And you are rushing to the, ho to the um, toilet. You might say, Espera, espera, me estoy haciendo pipí. And then off you go to the toilet. Mami. Dime. Mami, me estoy haciendo pupú. Ok, espera un momento. If you are enjoying these videos, remember to subscribe, suscríbete, hit the bell icon, toca la campana. Like, me gusta, share, comparte, and comment. Comenta. Nos vemos en una próxima.